this video we're going to install BFD Sphere. So we've already purchased BFD Sphere. It's in our F expansion account. We've downloaded that installer right here. So let's go ahead and install it. Go ahead and unpack the temporary files. Okay, so all the files have been unpacked and we're ready to install. But before we do that, I'll come here to the hard drive I want to install my library to. And I'm going to go ahead and manually create the folder I want it installed to. So I'll do a new folder. I'll call it BFD Sphere. And we're good to go. We'll go ahead and continue with the install. Now here you can choose all versions, which also include the uh, BFD2, BFD3, and BFD Eco. Now those are larger files. You can do BFD3 only if you're only going to use BFD3. I know for a fact I'll only be using BFD3. Go to Next. Now we need to choose where we want to put the data. And I've already created that folder, so we'll just go to Browse. We'll navigate to the hard drive where I want it, my F Expansion folder, BFD Drum Libraries. Then I want that in BFD Sphere. Okay, and I want the full installation size. That's about 4.3 gigs completely unpacked. At least that's what it's saying here. We'll go ahead and hit install, and now we just need to sit back and wait. BFD Sphere has now installed. We'll go ahead and click done here, and I'll come over to the hard drive, the place where it was installed, and we'll make sure, let's just see exactly how big it is. So 1.81 gigs, and that's because uh, we did the BFD three versions. So here's the folder, the audio folder. So processed and raw kits. And these sound absolutely amazing, by the way. So now we need to authorize our product. And I'll just come over here and open up BFD3. So that way uh, we'll go ahead and import that into BFD3 too. You know, get it in the uh, in the cache of BFD3. So BFD3 has detected our new content. Very good. Now it's going to scan through our uh, full database. It'll just take a, a minute or so. All right, and it's launched the authorization manager for us, the license manager, we'll go ahead and log in. It detected our BFD sphere. We'll just click authorize because the serial is already in my account to download the serial. Okay, um, this probably won't happen to you, but it happened to me because I accidentally bought this twice. So I'll have to type in my serial manually. All right, so I've entered my serial number. I'll go ahead and click next. And there we go, authorize and if you can find it. Here it is right here. It's authorized and ready to use, cool. Close down the license manager. So now I'll come over here to drums. Okay, so I'm not seeing it in our list. So in that case, we'll come here to tools and set up content location. So we'll just go ahead and uh, rescan. All right, so it's finished scanning our paths again. We'll go ahead and close that. And we'll come back here to drums and go to library. And now it's showing up BFD sphere. So there's our kicks, our snare, and our toms. No hi hat, cymbal, percussion in this pack, but these packs sound absolutely amazing and there will be a demo video showing exactly how these uh, drums sound I gotta tell you they sound just absolutely great but this video is just to show how to download and install and activate BFD Sphere so if you want to know how they sound be sure to check out the next video